It's the first home Saturday game in five weeks for Dulwich Hamlet today as they welcome Lars off town down to Champion Hill. Dulwich left it extremely late to maintain their unbeaten run in the league in midweek with Ricky Hales netting a 95th minute leveller away at Hendon in a 3-3 draw. Mohamed Ufal and Michael Onof Wigan start this afternoon after coming off the bench against Hendon with Kenny Beanie and Ibrahim Kargbo dropping to the bench. Lower soft were victorious on Tuesday, just their second win in the last eight games, but it was a brilliant 3-1 win over Leatherhead in Suffolk. Top scorer and two-goal man from Tuesday, Jake Reed, is suspended today along with Travis Cole, whilst ever-present Harry Barker also misses out. Nico Cotton makes his second Trawler Boys debut. Dulles won all three meetings between the sides last season. Can they earn another victory and extend the lead to at least eight points at the top of the table? I poke it on beyond Ferguson. Green couldn't get to the ball either. Hales put up front on Tuesday to great effect. Alassadi, this is where he's so dangerous, bearing down the defence. There's a foul by Zilonka. Tackle from behind, and uh, Michael Lowe gives Dulles the free kick in a certain A. Carew's territory. Will be a booking. It's perhaps not unexpected because uh, it was a tackle from behind and stopped Alassani from breaking forward. It was early on in the game though, that's maybe the one strange factor. Certainly looked a booking. He's got to get this up and over. This four-man wall set up by Dudzinski. He does get it over but doesn't get the dip on it. Dulles' first chance of the game whistles harmlessly over the crossbar. One of Wigan keeping Sean Bammett at bay. He scored his first goal since March in midweek. Ming. Dispossessed by Zilonka. It's a lovely ball forward as well. Around the corner goes from Matthew Foy. And a rising shot from distance from Harvey Hobb. But good build-up play from the visitors. The first time they've really broken forward. Actually bad in the second half against the Met Police as well. It was a good job they were 4 up at half-time. Scintillating performance. First off last week, Green. He's caught late there. And Green uh, felt that one. And referee is going to produce a card, I think. Lovely bit of skill originally from Green to get away the first challenge. Green hobbling slightly, but he'll be able to run that off, I'm sure. And there's a yellow card then for McCauley. Remember they had two red cards at the weekend, Lois. I won't want any more uh, dismissals today. They did play against nine men in midweek as well. Leatherhead saw Sammy Moore and Jack Midson dismissed. Fahl, he flicks that inside, too close to Fisk. And that's a late one from Mohamedou Fahl this time. Fahl might get a yellow for that. It wasn't quite as bad as the two lowest off ones that earned bookings from Fahl, but he does earn a yellow as well. Ferguson, nice little flick forward for Alassani. On for Farl it goes with his head. Support from Green. Karut. That's a lovely pass. Ming, three in the box. Great ball in. Put behind for the corner, well defended. Daniel Humphreys taking no risk there. Only Green to take this one. And towards Hales it goes. Did get up. Weatherstone keeps it alive. Dzinski drops it. Alassani now. Finds Weatherstone again. Low ball in. Hammered away. Another Dulwich corner. Dzinski not able to gather under pressure in that six yard box. Hey, was looking for Alassani. Down by Jarvis. Fisk, Zilonka. And he picks out Carew. That's a lovely little flick from him again. Been a few of that from Dulwich today. Ferguson. Here comes Ming. Galavan to forward Sanchez Ming. Can he pull it back? Yes, he can. Although Dzinski dives on the ball. Ming was off balance a little bit. And so he sent that in. Kolke did well to pounce on the ball. Taylor surging out of defence. One of Wigan also made a good run. Taylor can get a second go at this. Finds foul this time. One of Wigan. Mohamedou foul. First time shot. 
compensate uh, the goalkeeper. Again, diving low to gather the ball. Lovely build-up play, though, from Dulles, Taylor, Farl and Onof Wigan all involved. Farl trying to guide it into the far corner there. Finding an opening, the home side. Seven minutes to go in this first half. Weatherstone. Farl. There's certainly a grab on him. Carew wide to green. Trying to find Ferguson in the middle. Clearance only finds Carew. He will have a shot from this sort of range. Always rising though from Ashley Carew. That's twice he's fired over in this first half. This sort of range. I mean, it just feels like it's going to be level at the break. Lowest off haven't really too many chances. Dulwich possession, but no chances of note. Although Coston trying to play that in. There's half an opportunity there for the visitors. Just sliding in there was uh, Foy. Cotton linking up with number 10. Two goals from Nara and Clunis, one from Danny Carr, gave Dulles a 3 0 win in the league. Completed the double over the visitors. Crew. Great pass, on of Wigan, on for Farl it goes. Keeper just about gets there first. Just needs to be slightly softer that ball from on of Wigan. All happy to do the running again. Be Ashley Carew to swing this in. Find a dullish head. It's green round the back. Where's I got a touch? Alassani's there as well. Hales, Farl, another corner. Dulwich very knocking on the door there. Oh, the acrobatic attempt. Well defended in the end by Lowestoft. Early pressure then from the home side since the break. Again, it's a deep one from Carew and it's headed on. This time it's off target. Hales flying in. We've seen in recent weeks defenders scoring consecutive games. Chambers managed it in three games in a row. Weatherstone two in a row, so maybe it's the turn of Ricky Hales. Given Dulles an advantage, Carew trying to play out to Ming on the far side. Finds him. Weatherstone. Beats Koss on the outside. An advantage still Weatherstone. Ming on the overlap. He crosses. Alassane leaves it for Carew on his left foot. Shot is blocked. Been, must be about 70% possession, if not more, from them since the break. Ming controls well. Beats Ilonka, does he? Yes, he does. Drills in the cross. Green arriving. Blocks to the near post. Just helped away. Here's Carew, though. Plucks that one out of the air. Ferguson. Long range shot from him. A lot of power in it. He was swerving, but over the top it goes from Nathan Ferguson. Dulles well and truly on top at the moment. Jarvis all the way back to Dudzinski. Oh, and Alassani not scored today. Hasn't gone two games in a row without scoring for Dulles since arriving. Patrick last Saturday. Crew trod the ball that time. Weatherstone with a challenge there and a third. Weatherstone got the ball there. And that's not a good decision by the referee in my eyes. Certainly a lunge on Weatherstone, but he got the ball there. Weatherstone, I think, is going to go in the book now. Another one now walking the tightrope to go with Hales and Fall on his side and Zilonka and McCauley. For lower stuffed. It's Alassane, it comes. Control on the chest. Beats one challenge and a second. Now Dulwich have men over here. Carew on to Ming in space. Quick breakaway from the home side. Ming in full flight. Still Ming. Centres and Jarvis clears. Shouts of handball. Referee says nothing. Junior Caddy is absolutely livid. 
on the touchline there. Everyone in Champion Hill calling for a penalty there. It's on the ball again now. Green. Great ball in. Well defended as well. Green gets another chance to cross. Another decent ball in. Dodzinski this time is able to grab. Two wicked crosses from Green. Lower soft. Repelled the first one and Dodzinski claiming the second. Doesn't believe he's died. Just maybe just fell over. Carew. On his weaker foot, drills that one out to Ming. What a pass that was. Ming, can he get to the byline and cross? Yes, he can. It's Green arriving. Great save at his near post by Dudzinski. Green met that with a firm header. It's a corner. Ferguson. Lovely play from Nathan Ferguson. The turn of pace is excellent as well. It's carried a bit too much, but good, tenacious work. Able to tackle and it's deflected into the path of Green. Drills that towards near post and it's palm behind for a corner. Long delay. Referee's ready now. Crew. And met by Hales. And he does score in back to back games. Dulwich are in so good with their defenders scoring this season. Crew's had an excellent afternoon. And Ricky Hales meets his cross. Outstanding head up. Goal scorer for the Hanley, number five. Scored that late, late level in midweek. Long delay for the corner whilst Fisk was booked. Carew's delivery again immac immaculate. And Hales powers his header past Dudzinski and Dulwich finally break through. <laughs> Carew, been able to dictate play, had so much space in this game. Another great ball from him today. Many times they play that sort of pass out to the, one of the flanks. Green turning his man on. He goes Nathan Green into the area. Great work. It's got to be. Oh, how's it not gone in from Fall? Seemed a straightforward chance. Dulles should be 2-0 up. He can't believe it. Dulles will have a corner. <coughs> Outstanding work from Green. Said his final ball hasn't been great. Say so that one was... Perfect. Fall should have done better. Bamant controls on the chest again. Worked hard today up front. Cotton. Drilled in. On a Wiggum head clear. Foy. Still Foy. Sits to a pass. Here's Harvey Hodd. Onto his left foot. Edwards with the save. Had so little to do today. Answered the call when he needed it. Inside needed him to make the save there. He did that. Dolage switching off there and Hodd having a glorious chance. One of you could take it on his right foot first time. Diamond dispossessed by On of Wigan. Foul. Flex into the path of Ming that pass from On of Wigan. Foul. Nice little dummy. On he goes, Mohamedou Foul still. What a run. Foul for 2 0, just the wrong side of the post. Would have been some goal from the Dulles number 11, all his own doing. Loved a little flick to give himself space, and on he went. Dozinski at full stretch, just the wrong side of the post as far as Foul was concerned. Green helps that one on. Ferguson can't get on the end of it. Bora. Drops only for Carew. On of Wigan. Ferguson. Lovely pass. Foul. Another chance for him. Foul. Wrong side of the near post this time. Took it early, as he likes to do. Try and catch the goalkeeper unawares. Oh, 
Throws in towards Green. He volleys that a long way off target. Going to have three minutes added on in a moment. Sending Dudzinski forwards. I want an equaliser here though with visitors. In by Cotton. There's a slip in there. It's behind for a goal kick. Dallas fans want Edwards to shoot with uh, Dudzinski still only in the centre circle. 1,800 plus people inside Champion Hill. Are oh, they going to go home satisfied? The majority is Mings. He's that one away. Jarvis clears, but Dulwich get the three points. Extend their unbeaten run in the league to 13 games. It was a frustrating afternoon for the most part. It took them 75 minutes to find that all-important goal. But it was a ball of beauty from a corner from Ashley Carew. Powered home by Ricky Hells for a goal in back-to-back -back games with a defender. Real thumping header to beat. Ben Dudzinski. Dulles before that had had the majority of the possession. They hadn't really trolled the goalkeeper enough. How many fall coming close in the first half? But uh, after that goal, Fall had another opportunity. He should have scored from at the near post. Lowestoft. Only one real chance of note this afternoon as Harvey Hodd cut inside onto his left foot. Curled one straight to Edwards, who was able to block his effort. A comfortable win for Dulwich. All in all, though, they extend the lead at the top of the table to nine points. And of course, the going into a week's rest for them. Final score at Champion Hill is Dulwich Hamlet 1, Lowest Off Town 0. Gavin, 75 minutes had all the hallmarks of being a frustrating afternoon, but you kept going and got your just rewards. We did, we did. We showed um, a lot of uh, resilience again, a lot of patience and, and perseverance today. I thought um, they were always going to be a stubborn outfit and uh, we didn't score in the first 15 and we knew that it would be a, a bit of uh, hard work to break them down. <coughs> they came and set up really well as a, as a team. So we knew it would take a bit of patience and a bit of uh, quality, which we, we did lack in the last third today. Um, but the, the ball for, uh, for Ricky said it was good and uh, he attacked it really well and yeah, I think we deserved it for the points. I think patience is the key word because there's been games in the past we've had against sides looking to defend and let the frustration get the better of us, taking shots when we shouldn't, wrong decision making, made sure though today we didn't do that. Yeah, I think obviously there were times where that does happen because we're human and it, it happens sometimes even today, but less so, not as much as like as you allude to, we have done in the past. Uh, sometimes to frustrate uh, a team like us is, is a tactic that people will try and it's a good tactic as well. And we're growing as a, as a group <coughs> and understanding that, you know, we can win the game even in the last minute. So um, at half time, it wasn't really a... a uh, alarm bells, it was like, look, we can go right until the last minute and win this game. So let's not overdo it. Let's keep uh, doing, keeping the same principles uh, and slowly wearing them down. And that's, that was the, 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 the focus at half time and how we might wear them down as well. So um, we're learning as a group uh, together that, you know, you can win a game at any, in any minute. You mentioned the ball in for the goal. Ash's all round play today is attacking play, spreading the play to, to both flanks, and also his defensive work was, was top quality. Yeah, he's a top top player for this level of football. He shouldn't really be playing this level uh, of football, in my opinion. Um, he's done, given us some really good service um, over three and a half seasons. And um, when he plays like that, you can see how good a player he really is. <clears throat> he can't always play like that, of course. But um, that 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 was a very good performance. For him. I think lowest off come um, two banks of well, bank of four, bank of five, and one up top. I think they just uh, part of the bus and probably try to counter us. Um, so it's difficult to break down at times. Um, we knew we had to be patient. Gaffer told it half, half time it will come. And uh, eventually it did come through a nice header from Housie. So that patience was key to not getting too frustrated? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're always good for a goal, a goal or two. You know, we're always going to score, um, apart from the odd game throughout the season. But we knew we've got great attacking ability, um, good height at set pieces. Um, and it was always going to come, and it's all about a clean sheet as well. Keep, keep, keep them out. And I think they had one shot the whole game, so which is nice, nice oppressive, nice, uh, nice uh, evening and afternoon for him. Um, getting very bored and cold, but no, it was a, I think it was a very professional performance from us. Um, been patient, and it come through a set piece, which is nice. Ricky's now got three this season to go with Mark and Mike as well from defence. Nine goals from your centre backs. It's really key at the end of the season, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's just something that we, we've never really had. Um, we've got guys who, when they go forward, they look like they may, they may score from a, a you know set piece. Michael Chambers looks like he could probably score an open play as well, to be fair. So, um, yeah, it's a really added bonus. Mark, Mark Weatherstone as well. So, no, it's great. I mean, we need to get goals from all areas of the pitch. Uh, and at the moment, we are we are doing that. Everyone's chipping them. Chambers free, myself free, and, and Housie free. Got to get Quaid off the mark sooner or later, but... Um, uh, we're chipping in. We've got to chip in. Um, like I said, with our, with our height in the back three, we should be scoring these sort of goals. Um, but I think if we aim for about five to eight goals, I know mine's five to eight uh, target. So if all three of them aim for that, it's, it's nice to chip in. You know, We've got to help out the, the attackers at times. Not many uh, teams are only playing today, so it's important for you to get points on the board and ask them to come and catch up. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Our job is to, to try and win games <coughs> where, where it's available um, in all different styles, all different ways. It's not always going to be flash and easy and easy on the eye, but we're finding ways to win games and even your games on Tuesday night. Um, so, yeah, the team's growing. Uh, we're becoming stronger. Uh, we've got injuries to come back. and We'll be a, a strong unit. It's now 13 unbeaten in the league. Just got to keep this run going. I suppose confidence is very high in the changing room at the moment. Yeah, it's a great place to play. You know, uh, always buzzing around. Uh, we, know, we know our jobs. Tuesday was a bit of a shame. A great, great finish to the game, don't get me wrong, but to see three... But the 3G is never, never easy to play on. Uh, it's quite a valid excuse, I believe. But, um, bouncing back from, from Tuesday, take four points from two games. And um, like you say, 13 unbeaten. It's, uh, it's a great little run. We're going to keep going. Like you said, confidence is sky high. It's, um, it's a really good place to play. I understand that Reese has signed a contract now as well. Just how important is that? Yeah, very important. He's, um, he's gone two goals, two games without a goal, which is... Um, Crazy, really, but um, no, he's, um, his play was better in the second half as well. But he's a very, very uh, uh, interesting player. He can take people on, uh, he can run in behind, and obviously he can score. So great for us. Um, try and keep him as long as we can. But I think there's probably a bigger fish that'll probably take him off our hands. But in the meantime, we'll enjoy enjoy having him. And all you can do is keep winning and hope the teams below you drop points. Yeah, listen, no, it's, it's a it's gonna be it's a strong strong league. Um, we know the Billericays are in there. We can only keep winning. Um, to be fair, I'm not looking at where Billericay are. Don't don't care about the results. As long as we keep putting out results like this and not losing, then we're going to be in for a shout. And I think um, keep going like this, confidence high. We've got a very very good chance, you know.